Hello again, card community. It's RJ back with another video. Let's get to it. Today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day is this. It is a set of four photo balls featuring the Phillies legends. At least that's what the thing says on it. And this was released in 1995 to coincide with the 25th anniversary of Veterans Stadium. Veterans Stadium first opened to play ball in 1971, and this was made for its 25th anniversary silver season. Uh, this was released by Burger King. I worked at Burger King briefly during this time. I was out of college and still looking for a good job, but uh, this one was produced by Burger King in 95, and it has the four you know, people call the four greatest Phillies ever. Uh, certainly the most famous ones at the time because what you have here is Mike Schmidt, obviously. Steve Carlton, his contemporary pitcher on our World Series teams. And then you have Richie Ashburn and Robin Roberts. The other reason this came out in 95, not only for the silver season of the vet, but also because Mike Schmidt and Richie Ashburn were elected to the Hall of Fame that same year, 1995, Richie, by the Veterans Committee, and Mike uh, was the only member <clears throat> to get elected on the ballot that year. So, that's my random Mike Schmidt collectible of the day. <clears throat> my random baseball collectible of the day will help lead into the trivia question and prize. My random, Mike, random baseball collectible of the day is this here pack of upper deck cards from All-Star Fan Fest. This is back in 1990, uh, oh gosh, I'm looking, 1993, okay. Um, in 1993, Upper Deck came out with a set based on the T202 um, series of cards. There are trifolder cards. I'll open up the pack and you'll see what I'm talking about. It was held down in Camden Yards, and they were supporting Upper Deck at the time, something called the Baseball Assistance Team. If you look at the cards here, you'll see the BAT logo down at the bottom one, the All-Star Fan Fest logo from Baltimore, and it highlights Ted Williams, Mickey Mantle, and Reggie Jackson. Each player appears on the card a couple times. Um, and it, this little set was a preview set. Now, the, the, the card, I'll show you the card in a little, in a little second here. <laughs> But the cards are trifolder cards. Sometimes you'll see these cut off. It actually looked a lot like the T205 cards. The cards themselves in the end looked a lot like the T205 cards. Uh, but they were attached two cards at each end with a center picture. And um, they created a set Upper Deck did that year. About 150, 200 cards. I can't remember the exact number. Um, but in support of the baseball assistance team baseball assistance team, I think it's still in existence today, at least in some format. What it did was take care of older ball players, people who um, were down on their luck, you know, having financial trouble or what have you, medical issues, all kinds of things. Mostly because what they realized around about 1990 or even before in the 80s, probably even before that, when Major League Baseball instituted a pension plan, it had a cutoff date. To players if you didn't play the predominance of your career after a certain date you didn't get anything and there were still a number of ball players still alive at the time who were cut out of the pension so everybody else was starting to get a little bit of money but those ball players got nothing and it was really a sad thing so the union started uh its own efforts to take care of some of those players and then the baseball assistance team came into being uh, and I'm sure by now everybody who played baseball and qualified is getting a pension of some sort. But Upper Deck made this set. Uh, this is the preview set that was given out at Camden Yards for the All-Star Fan Fest. These are easily available. They made millions of this thing. So you can get them for next to nothing on eBay still to this day. And I did have the set at one time, but I sold it years ago. I'll probably have to get it back because it was so cool. Um... Anyway, today's trivia question, I'm going to give you the prize first to keep in line with that. The first person to answer the trivia question will get this. It is two of the cards from that set 
back in 1993, the all-time, it was called the All-Time Heroes set, I believe, but mostly the BAT set. I just call it, you know, the BAT set. And it features four of the greats. You have here Willie Mays on the same card as Mickey Mantle and Ty Cobb on the same card as Babe Ruth. And if you look at the back, a little bio on Mickey and Willie, and it just talks about they're the center field stars. Similarly, the uh, Ty Cobb Babe Ruth card says power and speed. Uh, obviously, you can tell which is which. <laughs> But they're just really great cards, and to be to have those two, those four players on these two cards with a great photograph is a is a pretty cool thing. So this is the prize. If you can tell me the answer to this question, I have here in front of me a card of a man named Lena Blackburn, she played baseball back in the twenties, thirties. Um, clearly, if you are wondering who is Lena Blackburn, you can tell what the quality of his baseball career was. However, Lena Blackburn today is very famous in baseball circles. The question for you, a very simple question, is why is Lena Blackburn famous at all today? That's the only question I'm going to ask you. And if you are the first person to email me the correct answer, I will repeat the question and um, I'll give you my email information in the comments below. But if you're the first person to come to me with the, with the correct answer, I will send you those two baseball assistance team cards. All right, I've got a quick one today for you, a highlight of my collection. What I have here is a group of cards, just a small set that came from the Hall of Fame. And this was several years ago, we're talking 20, 30 years ago, uh, probably right around 95, when I first went to the Hall of Fame. I've been, I've been there a number of times. I'm a member. I'm sure many people on this who watch our YouTube videos, many YouTubers have been to the Hall of Fame a number of times. This is nothing, you know, unique, clearly. But back in the day, if you went to the Hall of Fame, it was more geared towards kids. But to be quite honest, I did it every time. <laughs> What they did was they had a little checklist. They'd hand you a little piece of paper highlighting the various areas of the Hall of Fame. And for each of those areas, you had a little trivia question that it gave you. Go to this region and find out, you know, oh, um, you know, where did Babe Ruth spend the night in 1933? Or, you know, um, what team did uh, Jackie Robinson play on in the Negro Leagues? Or, you know, what... Who was the first woman to play baseball? Or little questions that you could only find the answer to by going to those areas of the Hall of Fame. And if you then, when you got done your tour, if you had gotten every answer correct, you could take it down to the Hall of Fame's bookstore and show them you got all the answers and they would give you this set of cards. And I had like three or four at one time. I only had this, this is the only one I have left. But it says, preserving history, this is one of the, the Hall of Fame's like motto or purpose, mission statement, essentially. Preserving history, honoring excellence and connecting generations. And it's a number of cards. Just a bio about the Hall of Fame, really. And then it talks about each of these uh, baseball um, you know, things, just things that were interesting about baseball. I'm not going to show you too much about this other than the cards. I'm, you know, maybe here, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to show you the front of the card and show you the back and let you pause it to read why Mickey McGuire, female catcher, why she's on here. I'm sure she's a member of the uh, All American Girls, you know, baseball league. There you go. I'll let you pause that and read that. Here you go. Cultural diversity. You have Jim Thorpe. Everybody knows who Jim Thorpe is. Here's his card and bio. Let you read through all that. Here you have Jackie Robinson's induction day. That there is Branch Rickey, uh, general manager of the Dodgers, when Jackie was first signed. By this time, in uh, where this picture would have been taken, uh, by that time, Branch Rickey was working on the Continental League. I'll let you look up the history of the Continental League if you don't know what I'm talking about. And that is Jackie with his wife, Rachel, holding his plaque. And here's his 
bio back. Why don't you pause on that and you can read the card. Artifacts of Education, the Double Day Ball. Uh, if you listen to my earlier ball, or <laughs> one of my earlier videos, I described the Mills Commission, which was the commission that tried to find the origin of baseball, and they and they just they were told by somebody that it happened in Cooperstown, New York, and Abner Doubleday did it with a friend, and then some guy went out to look around and check out the story, and they found a random ball in the woods somewhere and said, this must have been the ball they used. Well, here it is. It's a, it's a display cabinet. There's a mirror in the background, so you're seeing the front of the ball and then the back of the ball right there. Um, this is the Doubleday ball, and it's in a collection of the Hall of Fame now. Uh, here's the uh, bio on what the um, Double Day Ball was. All right. Everybody knows what this is. Economics. Honus Wagner. The T206 card. Uh, Going to pause. We'll let you see that one. There you go. American History. Joe Jackson outfield the White Sox. Nice picture. There you go. Pause on that one. Wow, this card, this was set must have been uh, in the in the early two thousands. Because look who this is. This is a bobblehead doll of bobblehead, you know, bobblehead figurine of Ichiro. Popular culture. You can uh, read his bio there. And we have fine art, and the, the the Hall of Fame does have some fantastic pieces of art surrounding baseball. And this is obviously. Ruth's called shot. If you go there, this this painting is gigantic. It's like you know six seven feet tall, hanging on the wall. Uh, I've been there a number of times, like I said. <clears throat> and here's his um, the bio of that. And then civil rights, and Satchel Page. And his little thing. So this little, like I said, this little collection was received if you went and completed that little tour of the hall and answered these trivia questions about the different um, exhibits throughout the hall. They don't do it anymore. I'm very upset. I was at the Hall of Fame on, you know, like two or three years ago and I wanted to do it again and get another copy of this, but they just, they weren't doing it. <clears throat> I'm not sure if they're never going to do it again, but they're not doing it right now. And it makes me sad. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm just I'm kind of sad that they're not doing it again. But I, I'm happy to have gotten this, still have it in my collection. Uh, I imagine some of you out there might have the same thing. Just wanted to show it off. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget the question. Who is Lena Blackburn? And if you're the first person to answer, I'll send off these two really great cards of four of the most iconic players to ever play the game of baseball. All right? That's all I have for you today, people. I want to say thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe if you think it was worthy of your time. I hope to see you back again soon. Take care.